This is Dave, the guru, and another tutorial using Game Salad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a nice camera scrolling effect. So I've got this scene laid out with a nice background so we can see how the scrolling is going to work and how it's going to flow. So let's take care of some preparation for this uh, business first. Let's go ahead and we're going to make a, uh, a game level attribute. And we're going to make it a real attribute because we're going to be using a scrolling speed. And we want a nice speed, so we're going to want the decimal places so we don't have a jumping effect. And we're going to name this scroll speed. And then we'll, next we're going to go ahead and go to the scene and we're going to take care of some business that we need to do in the layers. Now you're going to see I've got my, my background here and I've got it checked on a scrollable layer and I've got all this on there. So now what I want to do is I want to create another layer. And I'm going to call this camera. And I'm going to uncheck scrollable for this layer. So now let's go back into our actors palette and we're going to make a couple actors and then we'll go through and modify them. The first actor we're going to make is we're going to call this scroll speed. And then we're going to go ahead and make another actor and we're going to call this the camera. And then we're going to go make a third actor, and we're going to call this one Camera Stop. So now that we've got all these things in place, let's go ahead and start building this out. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go into the Scroll Speed actor. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to modify a couple things in the Physics tab. We're going to go ahead and check fixed rotation and we're going to get rid of bounciness because we don't want any it to bounce off of anything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start coding this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a rule. And we'll call this rule scroll. And then we're going to go ahead and use the condition when mouse button is down and this is going to give us the same effect as touch is pressed um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to build out a, a, a swipe behavior is basically what we're doing so now we're going to go ahead and we want to do a change attribute and we're going to change attribute self position X to device mouse position X and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a constraint attribute. And we're going to constrain the velocity of this actor to our swipe. So we want to go ahead in and we're going to go into the motion. And we're going to grab the linear velocity x of the actor. Now in this we're going to, con we're going to build a, a, a swipe expression here. So we're going to use a multiplier so we can uh, amplify the speed. So we're going to do 10 times, and then we're going to go open bracket because we're going to do a, a little math here. And then we're going to do game or device mouse position x minus self position x. And then we're going to do that with a close bracket to close up our math. Now you can change this multiplier here to increase or decrease the speed of your scroll. And then now what we're going to do is, if we just left it this way, the thing would just start going crazy. When we swiped it, it would just, the motion would just keep staying on that path. So what we want to do is when we're, when we lifted the mouse button or we've lifted the swipe, we want to go ahead and slow that actor down a little bit, not jarringly. So we're going to go ahead and put another constraint attribute in here. And we're going to go ahead and constrain the self motion linear velocity x to another equation and we're going to go self motion linear velocity x times 0.95 and this is going to reduce our speed down without 
bringing it to a grinding halt. So now, one more thing that we need to do is now that we've got this set up to scroll with the linear velocity, we need to send this or make this report to that game level attribute. So we're going to go ahead and take another constraint attribute outside the rule and we're going to say constraint attribute game scroll speed to this actor's linear velocity. So basically we want the actor that we're going to use to control the camera to match the velocity of our swipe. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead into our camera. And we're also going to do the similar thing. We're going to fix the rotation because we don't want it spinning around. And we're going to change the bouncing yes to zero. And then in this actor, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a couple things. We don't need any rules in here. We're just going to bring in a collide behavior. And we're going to have the camera collide with the camera stop. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in the control camera behavior. And we're going to just drag that in there. And then we're also going to constrain the velocity of the camera to our camera speed attribute. So we're going to take the camera motion linear velocity x. And now the way linear velocity works, if we left this, if I just put this attribute in here, game dot scroll speed, this thing would actually go backwards. It would move in the opposite way that I'm scrolling. So what I need to do here is I need to add a minus sign so I get a reverse effect. So I'm going to add a minus sign and then I'm going to go game scroll speed. So this is going to reverse everything for us. And now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead out back and we're going to go ahead and go into the camera stop actor. And we're going to go ahead and uncheck movable and we'll just get rid of any bounciness and we'll back out of that. And so what the first thing we want to do is constrain this camera that we're going to put in here to different positions. So we want to go up to the layers tab because it's always good to have things that are working together, especially collisions in the same layer. So now our background is where our camera is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we put the camera stop on those on that same layer that we're going to drop the camera in. So we'll just go ahead and take the camera stop and we'll stretch it out across the scene and then we'll come back over to this side and we'll grab another camera stop and we'll put it out here somewhere. And you can adjust these their locations depending on where exactly you want this to stop. Alright so now that we've got that done we might as well go ahead and come back over here and we'll just make sure we're still in the on the background layer, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to drop the camera in here. All right? And now for the scroll speed, we're going to go ahead up and we need to change layers into this camera layer. So let's go back and then we'll get the scroll speed actor and we'll put that up there and we'll just double check that that is in here, okay? So basically what this is going to do, and we'll see it, is this scroll is just going to keep going back and forth in this area. This is going to restrict the scroll uh, to a to find um, distance. So basically you'll get like half or, or uh, three quarters of the area of the camera as you scroll each time. So it's not jumpy. It's going to give us a nice uh, flow. So let's go ahead and we'll just check it out. And I'm going to go ahead and do some swipes. And as you're going to see, up in this HUD up here where we've got scrolling off, you're going to see it just keeps jumping to the mouse position, then following my mouse, jumping to the mouse position and following my mouse. Since we, don't, we can't swipe any farther than the screen area, having it constrained in that HUD allows us to minimize the code um, and not have a whole bunch of other stuff there making it stop and go. Uh, so we're kind of using what's already there. Uh, to make things work. And you see you get a nice kind of scroll. You can increase that speed or decrease the speed uh, in that multiplier of 10. So if you went back and changed it, let's say, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and boost that up. 
and we'll come in here and let's just go ahead and make it we'll just jump up we'll make it 20 because we have to be careful with uh, multipliers because they are multipliers and you'll see we get a little faster a little faster scroll there and basically that's all you need to know how to make a scrolling camera you can find me on the forums under the name Lost Oasis Games. This is Dave, the guru. I'll see you in the next video.